Hello guys, welcome to my channel once again. Now we are going to discuss a topic called centrifugal compressor. Centrifugal compressor. Centrifugal compressors were used in the first jet engines developed independently by Frank Whitley and Hans Ohan. Centrifugal compressors still find use in similar gas turbine engines. For larger engines, axial compressors need lesser frontal area and are more efficient. Centrifugal compressor can develop higher per stage pressure ratio. Besides small aero engines, centrifugal compressors are used in the auxiliary power unit in many aircrafts. Some of the aircraft air conditioning system employ centrifugal compressors. In a few engines, centrifugal compressors are used as the final stage of the compression process downstream of a multi-stage axial compressors. Example GE T700, P and W PT6 and Honeywell T53. Here we can see a centrifugal compressor rotage. Then if we go with the schematic of a, typic, a typical centrifugal compressor, here we can see an inlet through which the air gets entered and will be having impellers which will guide, which will direct the air and will be having a diffuser, then will be having a collector where the compressed air will get accumulated and then this will be driven by a shaft in frontal view we can see an inducer a diffuser vein an outlet which is collected through the collector then the torque applied on the fluid by the rotor can be given as tau is equal to m dot of rcw of 2 minus rcw of 1 where 1 and 2 denotes the compressor inlet and outlet respectively where C denotes absolute velocity then impeller impeller draws in the working fluid it is the rotating component of the centrifugal compressor the diverging passage of the impeller diffuses the flow to lower relative velocity and higher static pressure impellers may be used impellers may be single sided or double sided shrouded or unshrouded in the impeller the working fluid also experiences centripetal force due to the rotation in principle there are three possibilities for centrifugal compressor rotors first one straight radial second one forward leaning third one is backward leaning forward leaning forward leaning blades are not used due to inherent dynamic instability straight and backward leaning blades are commonly used in modern centrifugal compressors so here we can see a here we can see a forward leading blade and straight blade straight uh, radial blade and a backward leading blade here we can see that blades are inclined in forward direction here the blades are in straight uh, straight in radial and whereas in back here we are having backward leaning blades here we will be having an absolute velocity a relative velocity and blade rotating velocity here C is C represents absolute velocity V represent relative velocity and U represent rotational speed of the blade inducer Inducer is the impeller entrance section where the tangential motion of the fluid is changed in the radial direction. This may occur with a little or no acceleration. Inducer ensures that the flow enters the impeller smoothly. Without inducers, the rotor operation would suffer from slow separation and high noises. A diffuser High impeller speed results in a high absolute Mach number leaving the impeller. This high velocity is reduced with an increase in pressure in diffuser. Diffuser represents the fixed or stationary part of the compressor. The diffuser decelerates the flow exiting the impeller and thus reducing the absolute velocity of the working fluid. The amount of deceleration depends upon the efficiency of the diffusion process. The fluid flow ra radially outwards from the impeller through a veinless region and then through a vein diffuser. Both vein and veinless diffusers are controlled by boundary layer behavior. Pipe and channel type diffusers are used in aero engines due to their 
compatibility with the compressor here we can see a schematic diagram of a diffuser where we'll be having an impeller vein space and diffuser veins here r1 is the radius of impeller r2 is the radius of veinless space and r3 is diffuser veins so here the outward reason we are terming it as a diffuser so this total complete reason here will be terming it as a diffuser so here r3 should be greater than r2 should be greater than r1 with this we'll be winding up the video if you like the video please do like share and subscribe